you know, heading out, you could really tell the water was cleaning up. I, I was uh, really excited to see that because a lot of times after those heavy blows we yeah. had earlier in the week, that water can be very dirty. Cobia. Another cobia. You're a cobia slayer. Look at that school of cobia, bro. Wow, they're just sitting there. That is strong school. That is a school of cobia, buddy. So I knew at any moment, at some point, we're going to get to see the size of the school. And sure enough, that did play out. Simrads Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Stevie. Hey, hey, Scotty Walker. You awake? I'm awake, buddy. <laughs> I'm awake. So How am I. Doing? doing all right? I am now. I'm on the boat. It's still blowing only 10, so another, yeah, buddy. another beautiful day. I hope that 10 is real 10. I know. I hope it stays like that. Not to 2010. Yeah. What do you want to do today? We're going to have a whole bunch of hopes of all kinds of Hopes catches. of grandeur. Yeah. All right. I'm not even going to talk about it because then I don't want to disappoint you, but <laughs> we're going to catch some fish. All right. That's the plan anyhow. So down here in the Keys, this time of year, you know, obviously we have to keep an eye on the weather. And when we have these cold fronts approaching, what you normally get beforehand is some really nice weather. I know there's a front coming. I'm not sure when. We've been going around the dial for us this week. East, southeast, south, southwest, north. I never looked at the radar. I just radar working off. Yeah. As anybody down here knows that when those fronts are coming, that wind's gonna clock around, and right before that front hits, you got some great weather windows. And with that, we were able to push out into an area where we could watch the cold front on the Simrad with the serious weather overlay. Absolutely. And we could see the front, we could put the cursor on that front and know how far, how quick it's moving, how many lightning strikes are in there, how hard the wind, it actually has wind bars that you showed me on uh -huh. there. It'll tell you how hard the wind is actually blowing behind the front, not and even right up in front of it. So it's a really cool feature, and that allows us to push the envelope sometimes and, and stay a little longer, where if you took the naked eye and just looked out there. It's a beautiful day. Let's go. But, but then all of a sudden, you can see those higher building clouds, mm -hmm. and you see that front, and you're like, oh, God, here it comes. But when reality is, it's 150 miles away. That's right. So it's really cool to have that option. There's a pile of Jack Kerbals already chasing us. Here you go. A lot of big Goliaths down there. Um, good fish. Good fish. Got it to the bottom. <clears throat> Brought it up 10 feet. That's that kingfish bucktail? Yeah, it's the big pancake. Got a grouper. I got to the bottom. Stop. Stopped it. Oh, Cobia. Started off with a Cobia. As soon as we sit up on those racks, I'm, I'm, I just like kidding canster. I got to get a bait on the hook and down to the bottom, see, you know, catch the first fish, see what's down there. And I was hoping for a big fat mutton snapper right off the bat before they got smart and the, the critters showed up. And what I thought was my first mutton turned out to be a Cobia down off the rack off the bottom. And that kind of set up the whole afternoon. <laughs> There's All one right. for the box. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Don't let him go crazy. 
I'll get the, I'll get another jig. Thank you. Yeah, man. Good job. It's a way to start it. One on the board. You were saying if if there's Cobias here in a big school, as soon as the tide slacks up, they're gonna come to the surface and holy cow, an hour later, that was a heck of a school that came up on us. I mean, spectacular. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Simrad, go with confidence. Bubba, the ultimate lifestyle. Sea Deck, your boat deserves Sea Deck. Waypoint TV, streaming the best hunting and fishing series. Download the app today. By Yamaha, reliability starts here. And by Ameritrail Trailers, Hawks K Resort, and Power Pro. You know, that bottom machine uh, really tells the story when you get out there and and you need to, you know, you're always worried and, and you know, when you pull up on a spot, you know, are the fish here? Are we gonna catch fish? You know, what the deal, not worried, just, I wouldn't say worried, but you're just curious. Yeah, but you're and, dropping an anchor, there's a, there's a lot going on. It's just always nice to see that machine lit up like that because it just gives you a little bit more feel good when you're gonna go through the efforts of putting that anchor out, you know, all that chain, all that rope, you know, setting up, so. Uh, that always is a good welcome sight. What you calling it, man? What are you calling it? Let go of Cobia. Oh, let go Cobia? Oh, there's a good one with him, Steve. This one you want. Where? There you go. A couple of them. It's hard to tell between the Kudas and the big Cobes. I couldn't tell. Got him up that time. <laughs> Got color yet there, buddy? I do, buddy. You want me to let him go for you? I think so, unless he's a keeper. There was quite a few fish that swam up with this one, so I think we as, that tide, as that tide lightens up, these fish Ooh, could rise up. Yeah. I brought, I brought my fly rod. <laughs> wouldn't mind catching me a Kobe on fly. I wouldn't mind taking the hook out of his mouth for you. We got some lures we can try to catch him on. Yeah, that's a good one. We'll keep that one. We will keep that one. All scarred up and fighting. Goliath got a hold of it. Good job. Thank you. About time you let me catch one. Huh? <laughs> All right, I'll even get the hook out for you. You know, heading out, you could really tell the water was cleaning up. I, I was uh, really excited to see that because a lot of times after those heavy blows we had earlier in the week, that water can be very dirty. And when it's dirty, the fish still bite. Sometimes they're actually, some, some fisheries you want the water dirty, but that water was really clear, really pretty ocean. So Scott, we just came and- uh, Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Fished on this little wreck here, anchored up. Always like to anchor up, up in front of them. Oh yeah. So the chum floats back. Try to get those snappers going, you know? Got something going, Cap. <laughs> I ain't got the snappers going, but you're just smoking the bottom fish. Mm. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Uh. Cobia. Another Cobia. You're the Cobia Slayer. Now, this time of year, man, any kind of structure is where you'll find those Cobias. Yeah, finish what you got there, and if you get, I'll dig out my. Uh, what you got? Looks like a cobia, but only smaller. Another cob? I think so, buddy. One, two, three. All right. Same thing. Same thing. I All like right. the program. You see him back there, Skipper? <laughs> I'm just looking. Something catch for... your eye? No, I'm just looking for some. Something to come up in that chum. Don't need to use a D-hooker. Perfect. Perfect. It's a little, little frayed up there. Want to see more into the blue? 
Well, head on over to Waypoint TV. You can watch the last 12 seasons, get exclusive content, educational videos to make you a better fisherman. You can either download the app or go to waypointtv.com. Scotty Walker's hooked up again. I love when we take the time to go wreck fishing, trying to find out the proper amount of weight to get to the bottom without being too heavy, because you want such a variety of snappers down there. And if it's too heavy and it's sitting on the bottom, they're not gonna, they're gonna know better. But you know, working with the tide and as it changes, picked up speed, slowed down, went from the smallest jigs we had to up to an ounce, but we just kept getting this variety of big mangroves, muttons, and a nice lane. And every time you went down, you didn't know what you're coming up with. Mm -mm. It's hard to call it. Awfully shiny. It's like an African pompano and shiny. Yeah, and doing donut circles. Old baby African. Oh, look at the streamers on this little fella. Oh, that's beautiful. There's one, Jack, that you don't get angry about. Where's your mama? Out in the ocean? Oh! That's the presentation right there, man. It's a beautiful thing. Might be a little heavy, but the current's ripping, so we're gonna try it out. What, I get the Delta? Crab eater is what it is. Well, I know it's a crab eater, but <laughs> it's not pulling. Most crab eaters pull. <laughs> baby, baby cobia? The cobias eat crabs too. Janelle, I don't know. You got Captain Steve. I'm just hoping Jack or Val's don't eat. Oh, mutton snapper. Keeper? Uh, yeah. One of those perfect grilling size with the skin on them. You just ate my $5 crab, Mr. Mutton. I'm not cool with that. <laughs> I'd throw him right on the grill for nah, that. I'm, I'm gonna throw him right on the grill and marinate him in some hot coals. <laughs> Yeah, after a while, you know, trying to get a pilchard on a jig past the jack o barrier was getting harder and harder. So, you know, I'm sure I shagged off at least three dozen of them during the course of the day to catch what we caught. And after a while, you know it's a jack o you kind of treat them with no respect. Lock the drag down, just try to get your jig back and get back in the water. It's always nice to show, you know, somebody for the first time or even, you know, somebody does it every day, how aggressive those jack o can get. Um, there was no need to catch one. Uh, we've done caught plenty, but I took the topwater plug out and took the hooks out of it, and it would, you know, we'd throw, fire that thing out, and it would cool as all get out to watch, you know, seven or eight different fish every cast <laughs> come completely out of the water, pounding on that that lure. They were fighting. I'm way happier to throw this thing now with no hooks in it. <laughs> it even fools the bird. Do you need chum? Nah, it's got the flash boost, man. That is the chum. Oh boy. Oh, they're angry. Now I know how I can get to the bottom. Yeah, I'll distract them for you. There's that pack of pilchards over there. Here they come. Shoo! The barracuda's got all into it. Oh, yeah. Jacks were riding over each other's backs to get on it. It was, uh, it was pretty cool every time. So I just want to just take a minute and just uh, watch it happen without having to deal with the back-breaking work of catching a jack of because they are pound for pound some mean fit fighting fish. Head over to West Marine if you're thinking about getting some new electronics for your boat. Uh, the new Simrad NSS Evo 3 is a great screen. Uh, what I love about it is it has a faster processor, um, which is really cool. So you have options now and there's no lag time. So what you can do is you can actually build a screen. Take this plus sign right here Go to the uh, screen here and you can build whatever you want, right? Chart plotter, uh, bottom machine, what else you want? You want your radar, sure. Oh, you want your uh, motor information? Boom, there it is. So what you have now is hit save, 
um, and bam, there it all is, right? Radar, bottom machine, chart plotter, uh, your engine outboard information, uh, diesel, whatever you have. Um, it's really neat. They've widened the viewing angle. Uh, you can see this thing from a lot more angle than before. You don't have to stand right in front of the screen. Um, the other thing that we really like, you know, if you want a second screen on the boat, well, you already have one right in your pocket, your cell phone. Uh, you can go wirelessly with the GoFree app, and what that does is that allows you to have everything that's on here on your tablet, your cell phone, or anything else. So if you have multiple guys on the boat or multiple captains and, 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 and crew members that want to know where you are, what you're doing, they can pull that up right with their phone and see it without having to get into the wheelhouse and get in the way of the captain. Uh, it's a really neat thing, and I suggest you head over to West Marine and check out and let one of those experts help you out with some of this new Simrad stuff. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Scales, every degree of water. Yeti, built for the wild. West Marine, for your life on the water. And by Shimano. Costa Pro Series. Nikon. Golden Boat Lifts and by SpearOneKeyWest.com. Into the Blue is on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Give us a follow or subscribe and check out behind the scenes footage and wonderful photography posted daily. Oh yeah. I want that one. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, got it. You want to do the fly? Oh, there they are. There's a big yellow one right in the middle. I'd like to try to get them to come up, stay up. All right. Know, feed them a little bit. There's a herd of them coming for the next 10 minutes of slack. Oh, there's a real one. They don't stand a chance, bro, with them curb out. I'm gonna throw some of this bait out, buddy. What do you think about that? Make it rain. We're running, running out of sunlight. Cobias are eating all our mutton baits. Every time down, you pretty much could catch a cobia. Um, bear jig, whatever, didn't matter. So with that in mind, I'm thinking, okay, you know, and they're coming up singles. I'm like, singles, singles, singles. I'm like, when is this, you know, or doubles or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I, I was anticipating that tide slowing down because once that tide slowed down, I'm, you know, I know traditionally just fishing years and years down here, when the tide slows down, the cobias come to the surface. Look at that school of cobia, bro. Wow, they're just sitting there. That is strong school. That is a school of cobia, buddy. Let's see if I can lure them over here. Bring that them over. That is unbelievable. It's just a, a, a river of them. There's two of them. Oh, here we go. Wow. Oh, that's Look a, at that school of cobia. They're coming, too. That is unbelievable. They're coming back. They're coming back, Stevie boy. There they are. They just come up like apparitions. And then there's one, two, three, and then there's a chain of five or six. And then, holy cow, what a monster school we had been messing with down on the bottom. And they finally showed us how strong that school was. And then it's like, all right, we're gonna get our limit here and we're gonna finish it with a beautiful fish caught on fly, which was pretty darn special. What do you got, Jack Val? Happens fast, Scotty. Happens fast. <laughs> there was a cobia there. I got the cobia. 
That just about seals the deal, buddy. Can't do much more than that, can you? Caught them on bear jigs, caught them on red meat, caught them on live bait, caught them on bucktails, and on fly. What a day. There's a bunch of fish here. A bunch of fish, that's for sure. The whole fly rod took you longer to put it together than it took you to get one hooked up. It did, didn't it? <laughs> Well, I wasn't rushing that thing out the box. <laughs> You're not going to be impressed with the size of him, but it is a Kobe. Well. Might be the first short one of the day. Well, at least it was hungry. I got color. All right. Right hell. One thing about Kobe, the hardest thing is finding them. Getting them to eat ain't no problem. <laughs> Just knowing where they're going to be every day. That's the problem. Got that remora strike going on. There you go. Awesome, bro. A little more grip with this glove here. All right, I got him good. Thank you, sir. No worries. Nice 12 pound fish on fly. Yeah, man. First cast. Can't complain about that. All right, tell your friends we're friendly. There you go. Steve, I don't like to uh, look at the wind on the backside of those clouds. The serious weather's got it uh, about 20 miles out, and it's going to go from this nice 10 to 20, 25 on the backside of that. So are you saying you want me to catch one more or no? I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, we uh, have a box full. One more would be great, but I think we should get going. And then we'll have a, we have a nice ride home versus a not nice ride home. We've had a great day, and I'm ready to uh, let's uh, let's get to the dock before the wind gets to us. I am okay with that, buddy.